In Outlook 2007, the new Instant Search helps you find email messages, appointments, contacts, or any Outlook item quickly. You don't even need to know which folder you saved an item in. Instant Search can find it, well, in an instant. At the top of each view in Outlook, there's the Instant Search box. When I want to find an email message about sales figures, I can use the Instant Search box to quickly locate the message. I begin typing in the Instant Search box. I don't have to press Enter. Searching starts automatically as I type. As I type more, the results become even more refined. I can do more advanced searches with the Query Builder. Query Builder allows me to specify exactly how to search for an item. For example, if my search term is in the subject or in the body of a message. When I open the Query Builder, common search criteria are already shown. For example, I can search for messages from Judy with the word proposal in the subject line. I can also specify that my search only consider specific words in the message body. There are many other criteria that I can add by clicking Add Criteria. If I wanted to search for an attachment, I just add that criteria to the Query Builder. Once the attachments criteria has been added, I can choose Yes or No in the drop-down list. When I select Yes, now only the message from Judy that has a subject of proposal and contains an attachment appears in the search results. The search criteria I added will now always appear when I open Query Builder, but I can easily remove it by clicking the criteria term and then clicking Remove. Now that i found Judy's proposal and spreadsheet, I need to call Judy to ask her about one of the figures. I remember Judy sent me her cell phone number a while back. I'll use Instant Search to quickly find that message. I'll click the X button to clear the current search. In Query Builder, I'll only search for messages from Judy by entering her name in the From box. Instant Search immediately begins to search for messages from Judy. Then, in the Body box, I'll type Cell. There's Judy's message and her number. You might have noticed, when Instant Search finds a match, the results are highlighted in yellow. Sometimes you'll see the highlighting in the Search Results list or in the Reading pane. And if there's an attachment, Instant Search can even look inside an Office document. I need one more piece of information for my project. Judy submitted an expense report last year for some office equipment. I'll close the Query Builder for now and just use the Instant Search box. When I search for Judy's expense report, nothing is found. That's because Instant Search is only searching in the folder I have open, the inbox. But with one click, I can expand my search to all of my mail folders. There's Judy's expense report. Searching across all of my mail folders is probably the best way for me to search for messages, especially since I move messages from the inbox to other folders. In Search Options, I can change the default so that searching all mail folders is the default. Clicking the down arrow beside the Instant Search box and then clicking Search Options takes me to where I can customize settings. Under the Instant Search Pane section, I see two choices. Since I want to search through all my folders by default, I'll click All Folders. Now when I do the same search as before, by typing Judy Expense Report, the message is found even though I'm in the Inbox folder and the message is in another folder. Instant Search really helps me save time finding information. But what happened to all of the messages that were in my inbox? You might have noticed that the message list heading now has search results in parentheses. This lets me know that I'm actually looking at only the items that match a search. I can clear the search results by clicking the X. Outlook 2007 and Instant Search keeps your information at your fingertips.